Morning, Anne. Any more blackouts? Not since the accident. I'm really just eager to get back to composing. I got hired to nanny this summer for Natalia's kids. Your thesis supervisor, do you think that's wise? Natalia won't be there. She's in Europe, I think. Natalia's husband will be coming and going, so maybe being in Natalia's space, being around her family might help me focus again. Nobody's allowed up there but Mom. When's the last time you heard from your mom? Do you mind? She walked out on us six months ago. She's gone for now. Are you playing the piano? No. Don't lie to me, I heard you. It wasn't me. Hi, I'm <laughs> Laura, this is Chris, we just live on shore. Oh cool, I'm Anne. I've seen you before. Have you? This is my first time here. Why did you leave your life to come up here? It's a good place to work on my music. Just like Natalia. Why would she just leave her kids here? Emily, Emily, let me do that. Please it. And not. What do you think happened to her? Well, Natalia liked to play piano late at night. If she slipped and hit her head. You think it was an accident? She'd been threatening to leave. I thought that she just walked out. Did you know Natalia? She was my supervisor for my master's. So you've been here before? What? No. Can you tell me where you were? The date Natalia died. You know, I was in a car accident. It's affected my memory a little bit. And it's crazy. She goes in a fits. The meds I'm taking, they make me sleepwalk. Any more blackouts? Blackouts. Snap out of it. Get her out of my head. What is it happened to Natalia? Let it breathe. She doesn't even realize how small she makes us feel. 